What was your school's huge scandal? My school district gave all high school students laptops that they could bring home with them to use for school work. They could also remotely activate the webcams and spy on students, although of course they didn't tell us this. One kid got caught smoking weed this way while he was in his room at home and I think was going to get suspended. He sued the district in response for invasion of privacy and won the case. The assistant principal died in a car accident. There was a big. Somber school assembly in his honor. His wife said a few words. And then his 14 year old daughter came to the microphone to say a few words. She sort of snapped and unloaded about how he was not a good guy. He was a monster who had been abusing her and her little sisters and using them for killy PRN for years, and she was glad he was dead. I've never heard a room full of people grow so silent. So fast. One ninth grader broke water on her field trip and one of the teachers had to help deliver the baby. My high school district's superintendent hired a relative who wasn't qualified for the job. Increase the salary of administrators every year. Use the district's credit card to buy meals, groceries, gas, personal electronics, and gift cards. When the state audit went through they said that the overpay of administrators and the personal spending cost the school district around one. One million dollars. Her husband was also an administrator. When she eventually got caught. She just retired and for some reason never faced federal charges. When she retired she had a $260. 518 salary. My favorite part is that the state audit discovered that the district's credit card was used to purchase logging equipment the same month the superintendent's husband filed paperwork to open a timber company. Everyone knew there was corruption in the school district. But no audits or investigations happened until someone was threatened by the superintendent's husband on Facebook. Two things. One. We had a bomb threat and the teachers would not tell us who sent it until the school paper leaked it and for the rest of the year admin and the paper had a back and forth power battle too. Not our school but our sister school. The caretaker killed two local girls and hid them in the school. He tried using the clay kiln to burn them. A very popular guy at my school was arrested for videotaping people using the restroom. He was 18. They were not. Can't believe he videotaped 19 year olds. That's terrible. My high school guidance counselor F a science teacher's wife and everyone knew about it. They got a divorce. Both teachers still work at the same school to this day. And students will never ever let it go. The story has been handed down from year to year. A girl died in the pool during an event at the school. The swim teacher was blamed and was prosecuted. The girl who died was at my sister's class. Both were 7 at the time. That happened over 10 years ago. But the parents haven't had another child since. She was their only kid. Some idiot parent showed up to the local elementary school a few years ago and said I have a gun. I'm going to go to this classroom and shoot this person. What are you going to do about it? He was promptly arrested. He wanted to know what the school's policy was on active shooter situations and make sure they were prepared and his kid would be protected. Unfortunately. He was next level stupid and has been spending some time in prison. In the 8th grade. There was an orgy in the bathroom. An orgy. In 8th grade. At school. They got busted after teachers heard them moaning. They all got suspended. Obviously this was entirely inappropriate. But given the difficulty that grown adults have organizing an orgy. Not entirely unimpressive. Someone spread photos of naked female students which forced some of them to drop out. My high school had some fights that for some reason managed to make the local news. And the principal's words about it were broadcasted as well. She was pissed. And talked loudly in a passive aggressive manner over the announcements the next morning. Repeating our school's mission statement over and over. Ending the broadcast with record that. Record that became a bit of a meme around the school after that. And the school seems to have lightened up about the situation since because the journalism team's shirts have record that written across the back. In my sophomore year. 
A group of seniors decided a good senior prank would be to sneak into the bus garage and slash the tires on buses in order to get out of school. Ended up causing over $40.000 and damages and did cancel school one day. And the police came to the school to do interviews all that week. Apparently. Most of them got away with it because of how the buses were parked at the time. Some of them were doubled up. So they only hit the second row of buses. Which made camera views too far away to positively identify. After that year. Our and the neighboring districts changed their bus lots so that the buses were single row only and beefed up camera systems. Also. As per many posts on this thread. Found out after I graduated that my chemistry teacher in 10th grade was arrested years later in the neighboring state for trying to meet underage girls for sx. He was at least in his 50s. Five or so guys got caught smoking synthetic weed, the kind that utterly reeks and will fck you up internally, in the school toilet right next to the biology rooms. Where the biology teacher had just got out of being a drug officer in the Met. When asked if they smoked cannabis in the toilets. Apparently one of them, he was new to the school and didn't speak much English, said no. I only smoked weed. We had two teachers arrested for secretly recording kids and separate incidents. Our wood shop teacher had a low angle camera on the floor pointing up towards the seats. And also would slide an iPad out from under his desk when girls would walk up to it. He let a student borrow his flash drive. Who found the evidence? Then our speech teacher was caught hiding a camera underneath the sink in one of the private bathrooms that special education used. Second one is in a whole new zip code of screwed up. Someone spray painted as a kitty diddler. Ask on the wall of the school. Everyone saw it when they showed up. The teacher was nowhere to be found that day. The girl was also nowhere to be found. I remember it was a Friday. Cause the day was crazy with people talking about it. But it sort of died down on the weekend. Monday we find out the guy killed himself that weekend. Later. Talking to the girl. Sadly it was very true. Others came forward later. It was a pretty shtty situation. Edits. Kitty Diddler equals child molester. 30 years ago. Girl miraculously seemed normalish after. I think she was hella strong. I didn't actually know any of the other girls who came forward. Or don't remember knowing them. Gym teacher basketball coach and custodian were caught in the act in the showers. Custodian lost his job. But teacher kept his. Go figure. Mop my slop sink. Not a scan call per se but we had a huge sit down protest because the cool janitor got fired because of some petty argument with a lunchtime lady who had a lot of pull. Looking back she was probably fking the principal. All students from 10th to 12th grade sat down on the floor in the cafeteria when the bell rung at 8.30am up until the end of class at 3pm. The principal came in at the end of the day and said the janitor would resume his employment. We cheered. It made the news. In my senior year, a group of friends, who were goth before goth was really a thing, experienced a tragedy when one of the friends accidentally killed the other. The friend who caused the accident took his life a few weeks later. This touched off a wave of suicides at my school. Five in total. Over the next three months. There was a male and female high school pay teacher that essentially shared an office. They always got along really well. And kids would always joke that day we were dating. We were just dumb kids. So we never really thought anything of it. After a couple years. They both started acting weird around each other. And there were rumors that he left his wife and kids for this pay teacher. This wasn't actually true though. What actually happened was they added on a bedroom to their house and the pay teacher moved in. The kids pretty much just had two moms and everyone got along wonderfully. It was strange for about a year. And then it was business as usual. I guess they're going on about 15 years strong. So. Like husband. Wife. Shared mistress kind of thing. Two dudes got into a physical fight over a girl. She was lesbian. Well I don't know if this was a school wide scandal. And it was years after I graduated but it's a scandal and a half. 
I went on holiday with my recently graduated brother, I graduated 6 years before him. He had noticed his friends had posted online that they were in that same city too. So we all met up. With this group of super young looking dudes, all around 18 stroke 19. There was an older looking woman I kind of recognized and I assumed it was an older sister. I spoke to her saying hey. I know you from somewhere. And she says yeah I teach at the school. It hit me that I'd seen her speech at my other brother's graduation 3 years before that. Then it hit me that she was holding hands and kissing this guy who looked about 15. And she was in her mid 30s. Not to mention his ex teacher, even though they only hung out before he graduated and then they were instantly official. What the actual fck. Apparently they now live together and she still teaches there. Super weird. Someone created a fake Facebook profile for our principal. He was commenting realistically on teachers pages but the context never lined up nice to see you last weekend ems. Brown. Then once he had everyone as friends. He started simply roasting kids ha ha ha. He accessed the account from the computer lab and was never caught. This is actually genius. Just picturing some high school kid with a status like just got a solo squad victory in Fortnite. With the principal promptly commenting lol you suck. JR. I. Girls gym teacher posed for Playboy nude. Everyone saw those pics after one kid's dad recognized her and let his son take the mag to school. She got fired. What dad gives his middle school age son PRN of one of his teachers to take to school. Edit. Press F to pay respects to my poor notifications absolutely full of people trying to be clever with their 20 plus a cool dad comments. A kid got caught tugging his hog in the library while he and everyone else was taking the sat. He needed that post nut clarity. Some guy jokingly wrote if I won't get a B for this I'm going on a rampage. On his English test. Fast forward 15 minutes. A police response unit of 12 stormed the classroom and fking arrested the shti out of him, without being brutal. A girl in my year lied about having a s relationship with a teacher, in gross detail might I add. We all knew that she was straight up crazy and was making it up. But the school board obviously had to take it very seriously and the teacher was fired. Worst part was that the teacher's wife was also a teacher at the school. And so. Even though she wasn't fired. She pretty much had to leave her job as well. The school board eventually figured out the girl was lying and offered both teachers their positions back. But they both declined. At the French speaking school. Some students got suspended because of a song they sang at a talent show. The issue the school had with the song is that it was in English. The students decided to do a sit in and not go to class in protest of the suspension. Once it hit the news it reignited a lot of French versus English sentiments throughout the whole town. After I left school my brother told me that two girls were found doing ecstasy in the toilets, on the same day that David Cameron was visiting. Note. This was 2016 and the day before the EU referendum. Edit. A girl in my grade died of a brain tumor a week before the year 12 formal. They buried her the day before the formal. It was fking horrific. The scandal wasn't so much with the school as with the local hospital, the fkers had told her the migraines she was suffering were just normal stress symptoms. So they didn't pick it up until just before she died. She passed while on the plane to a hospital in the nearest major city. Less than a year later. A teacher also got brain cancer. But for that. The fittest and smartest man I've ever met. Like. Crazy healthy. A few other students and teachers have had cancer in the years since. And it's not a big town. So it's a bit weird. There's a part of me that's surprised there hasn't been a scandal about a cancer cluster tbh. There was a home economics teacher who caught a lot of heat for showing how to put a condom on a banana. Edit. She was not teaching sx ed at the time. Well deserved. Condoms offer no protection if you put them on bananas. My high school got on national news for someone drawing swastikas. Pregnant 7th grader at the middle school. The shti bandit. Suspected pedophile gym teacher. The student council spending 
0000 on just paper. There were two teachers at my school who were in their late 20s early 30s who were married. The husband cheated on her with another teacher in her late 40s. Their affair was known by basically everyone. They were even caught in the same car after a school excursion by passing students. They were on the same seat. Eventually the wife found out and her office was right next to the mistress apparently and they moved them to opposite ends of the teacher offices. Also the husband and wife kept teaching at my school for the entire time I was there and the husband wound up engaged to his mistress. Apparently the principal was totally on the wife's side and she got days off to prepare for court whilst the husband didn't. How do nearly all the students know all this? Apparently teachers like gossiping as much as students. Someone started a my school gossip girl page and just started fken roasting people. Really sticking it to them with some properly nasty stuff. It was great for me. As I love drama and am a totally immaculate person. Or just so unimportant I was skipped completely. They never found out who ran it. But I can say that it was vicious. And split the school into factions. Regina George is a fugly SLT. I'll preface this by saying I went to a private Christian school in Mississippi which is a scandal in itself. When I was in the 6th or 7th grade. One of our coaches got fired and arrested for sleeping with a girl underage. Problem was her mom found the messages from him to her and she denied it all. He is still in jail to my knowledge and she transferred schools. There was another coach doing the same thing and he just left our school. A few years later at a basketball game we were talking to some friends from that school about the whole situation and it turns out the coach that left was now coaching at the school we were playing. We unintentionally got him to leave that school as well. Semicolon. Runner up. A girl got pregnant her senior year and was not allowed to come to classes but instead had to sit in the PA room and listen to her classes over the speaker and PA system. It was cruel and unusual and her classmates had a sit in to allow her to walk during graduation. Man I wish I wasn't so late to this party. Around 1998. Someone took a dump in a toilet at my high school. This turd was, no joking, the circumference of a coke can. And the length of a size 13 shoe. It was so big that it couldn't be flushed. This team made its way around the school quickly. And there was a line out the door to that bathroom for an hour at least before the facility caught wind. From what we heard. It took the janitor four flushes after breaking it down with a plunger. Fast forward a couple weeks to the real aftermath. Someone managed to take a picture of this turd and created a website dedicated to this mammoth shti. The person that made the site was dumb enough to use his name on the site and the school threatened him with expulsion if he didn't take the site down. He said no. So he had to go in front of the school board to make his case about how it's his right to have a website dedicated to a massive shti. This made the local news and made my junior year extremely funny. P. E. Teacher coach was clearly having an affair with a French teacher and everyone knew it. Edit. P. E. Teacher was married with another teacher at the same school. A girl who went to our school gave birth to a baby in Logan Airport's toilets and then tried to board a UK bound flight. We had two teachers get fired for exchanging prescription pills the end of my senior year. That year our world studies teacher lost her job too. She taught the class to freshmen and part of the curriculum centers around learning the basics of the five major world religions. We got to take a super cool field trip with her. She took us to a Christian church. Hindu and Buddhist temples. Mosque. And synagogue. It was hands down my favorite field trip. My last year. A freshman mom got furious that her kid was gonna be going to a mosque. I live in the deep south BTW. Long story short. The trip got banned and the teacher wound up stepping down after receiving so much hate for trying to make the kids Muslim even though she was a white. Christian woman. I went to a predominantly white high school. And all the white moms basically teamed up to complain to the school about her and tear her to shreds. I think the teacher is doing govt work now. She totally quit teaching after this. Football coach made smart kids take the sats for football players so they could get better scholarships. 
A gym teacher got caught fooling around with a student or two. Another gym teacher was having an affair with a school administrator's wife. That one was hilarious because the administrator guy was a total asshole. It's always the gym teacher isn't it? A picture of my senior class in a hot tub got out. There were boys and girls in it at the same time. The administration considered expelling us all. Christian schools are nonsense. Boys and girls sitting in a tub.